Well, you know, obviously it's been a while since we've seen you. I think December 2014 was the last time we saw you fight. Uh, what's the feeling like been then? I know you've probably been anxious to get back, so what's it like? Brilliant, you know. Um, it's been hard. I mean, I won the bonus in my last fight. Um, and from there, I, I hit the gym, like, literally the day after. And I was doing six hours, seven hours in the gym. Um, knowing that I, I was, the plan was for me to fight, I obviously had an idea I was going to be fighting on UFC Glasgow. Uh, and what happened basically is after about five months, six months of doing this, because I was thinking, ah, I've got it, I've got it, and I was so excited, and people couldn't pull me out of the gym. And my body broke. Um, I had a problem with my knee, I damaged my meniscus, um, and it's my own fault, you know. I, you, you live and learn, and, and your body is only human, no matter how much we think it isn't, and it isn't breakable. Um, that put me out. I, I was injured, I think, four weeks before the US Ski Glasgow fight, even before the, the fight was even announced for me. Um, since then, you know, I've, I've been back up and running pretty much since, since Christmas. But even then, when, when I picked my knee injury up, I've still been in the gym, I've still been watching, I've still been doing everything I possibly can do because th this is my life, you know, and I can't wait to fight. Yeah. Really can't. Was that an important lesson? Because I actually read a quote from you where you said that, like, even in this camp, I believe, you said sometimes you couldn't even crawl upstairs. You had to sleep on the couch because you were so worn out. Yeah, so. do you know, I have a mental problem, you know. I, it, it, it's, I don't like doing anything else, you know. It's like, what do I do? I don't drink. Um, so it, it's the only thing I do. It's the only thing I, I enjoy doing, you know. I, I, I train, and that, that's where I, I get my enjoyment. Everyone gets their enjoyment out of all the things. Or To me, it's amazing that I get to do something that I love so much and I get paid, you know. It's... It's great. Yeah. You had a, a big change of events in, in your first fight and your second fight. You know, obviously a quick loss, then a quick win. Um, what was the difference? Um, pretty much my guy's ankles wasn't double jointed. <laughs> you know, I, still, you know, I mean, obviously it made, it made me lose my weight. You see, the, the difference with Daniel Hooker was Daniel Hooker was six foot two. So when I was looking to finish a heel, he was able to reach me and, and pull me back. Also, I was lucky enough after that fight to train with Tiago Tavares, Mazuke in Minari, um, and Tiago, I was a training partner of Pajares, and it helped me just brush up how to finish my heel and how to snap it that much quicker and that much tighter. So, you know, it, it, it certainly helped and taught me a, a few lessons of how to finish the heel, because sometimes, you know, in a gym, you get in that position, and because I, I, you don't obviously you don't snap your training partner's ankles, you, you're not in the position to fully put the finish in. And after that fight, it made me go away, and I learned how to break people's ankles ten times faster. Training with Imanari, I mean, a, a leg like guy like yourself, that had to be a, a, an honor. Yeah, you know, I, we, I flew out to Italy, and it, it, it was fantastic, you know. And we'll, we'll, I'm sure we'll, we'll work together a, a, again, you know. It, it's cool. We'll, it's cool, very cool. Very cool. The hooker fight, I did want to ask you about that. I mean, was that a, a lesson? Because, you know, you were in the position and you just wouldn't give up the position and, and, and took a lot of shots. Was that a, a lesson for you there? You know, e even then, with uh, uh, if you watch the video back and, and you turn the volume up to 100%, I, I, had, I had the leg lock on. The referee said, Ian, you need to protect yourself. So I actually thought, good idea. So I put one hand up. I still had hold of the leg because in the, if you look, even when he stopped the fight, I had my legs linked. I was, wasn't was limp by any means. I had one up, he said, Ian, you need to do more. So I put both hands up. Now, if putting both my hands up and keeping hold of, I didn't want to release the leg, so I, I was quite happy, you know. It's very hard to get leverage on punches when you, you have hold of, of someone's leg like that. So the punches wasn't too affecting me. As soon as the fight stopped, I was up asking him why. He said, Ian, you need to set yourself. Ian, you need to do more. That's it. Well, what, what more can I do apart from release the position, which I'm never, never going to release, you know? <laughs> Is that a fight you want back at some point in your career? Yeah, you know, obviously I fight 62 kilos now, but I don't like losing. I never like losing, you, you know. I think Muhammad Ali said a, f a f really famous quote what stuck in my mind. Um, show me a good loser and I'll show you a loser, you know. <laughs> obviously I'd like to fight Daniel again, but right now my, my paths are on course for the 62 and I, I want to go as far as I can and be the first English champion if Bisping doesn't get there before me, you know? Nice. Let's talk about your matchup here. What do you think about Alejandro? Did you, did you know much about him when you got the matchup? Yeah, you know, I, I, I watch the UFC. I watch everything. I, honestly, I'm probably the UFC's biggest fan apart from being in the UFC, you know. Um, Alejandro Perez, he, he won, the, won the title. Um, sorry, the Ultimate Fighter, Latino, American. He's good, you know. Um, when I watched him, I thought he had a better tan than me. 
everyone in the UFC is good, they have a good level, you know, so I, I, I respect everyone, but I know I've just got to go out there and do what I do, and I've trained hard, and then you let your talent take care of the rest, you know, I, I don't feel pressure, I just go in and do what, what I have to do, and if my talent's good enough, then I get through, if my talent isn't good enough, then I work out why it isn't, and I make sure it is next time. 11 fights, never, never gotten out of the first round. That's an incredible record. I mean, I know there's a loss in there as well, but that, that's amazing. Yeah, you know, I, I pride myself on not boring people. Um, you know, I watch some fighters and they drag it out three rounds and they jab. And I mean, I'm ready and I'm always fit to go if it goes. But personally, I come out there and I come to fight. I, I don't come to jab and move around. And I mean, uh, Alejandro Perez is probably going to do that. So we prepared for the second, third round because... He probably is going to run. He's the first Mexican fighter I've ever seen that runs. I know if you say you're fighting a Mexican, I thought, buzz in, let's go for it. And then I watched him and he's running all over the show. And you know, that, that's, that's his game. That's cool. That's what he does. But I'd like for him to come and stand and fight, but he's probably not. So I'm, I'm going to have to chase him around. You know, I've, I've been doing a rocky and chasing a lot of chickens for this fight, so it should be good. <laughs> well, if it does play out perfectly the way you'd like to see it, I mean, as you're envisioning it, it sounds like you're preparing yourself for maybe going 15 minutes, but how would it work out if it works out perfectly for you? You know, I, I just go out there and I express myself. Uh, I, I don't really make game plans. I don't, I don't do things like that. I just make sure that I'm good enough where I feel everywhere to beat him and whatever. I know what he does, so when he does things, obviously I'll be ready for the counters. But I don't really, I, I just wait and I feel the moment like um, if, if you see my, my heel, for example, against Liam James before, I, I, ju I, just, I just feel the moment, you know, they do something and I, I, I just I, I feel.